What's poppin' with the squad? It's your boy Amari, and we are back with another one today. I just wanted to try something new, you feel me? I just wanted to give y'all a different piece of content today. So please let me know how y'all feel about this, and, you know, if this works going forward, I'm gonna do some more stuff like this. My goal now that I've reached a thousand subs is to start branching out and start doing more music-related content. Um, because the entire goal of bringing you here to this channel is to expose you to music that you may not have been exposed to before. And so y'all can see how I feel and that I react the same way y'all react when you hear something crazy. It's that simple. Um, but more than that, I want to do more album and project reviews. I want to do more, you know, suggestion type things. So, you know, just stay prepared for all that good stuff. With that being said, I am ready to jump into this video. And this video is going to be the top five artists that I have reacted to in my own opinion, okay? And uh, this isn't, you know, any sort of comparison of them to each other. This isn't any sort of, you know, <laughs> tier list or anything like that. This is, per this is just my opinion, what I believe or who I believe I, I, I like the best, who I want to hear more, who I have playing on my playlist more so than anybody else um, as a result of me reacting to them, okay? All right, let's get into it, and um, I hope y'all enjoy this video. All right, let's get it. Now, the number one artist... Like, I feel like if you've been following my channel at this point, then, then this really should go without saying. This is pretty obvious in my opinion, but the number one artist that I'm going to say is indeed Angelina Jordan. Angelina Jordan coming in at 15 years old, she won Norway's Got Talent when she was seven. Her vocals are amazing. Like, I just the audacity she has to cover the songs that she does, you know, songs like um, Natural Woman from Aretha Franklin or, or I Have Nothing by Whitney Houston. Those types of covers done beautifully and almost, almost like they were, they were sitting there writing the songs with the original artists themselves. Um, the expression is amazing. Everything she sings is amazing and she is really going to take this world by storm. Especially now that, um, she is starting to come out into the world more she just released a single then she just released another cover so yeah watch out for her she is going to be somebody to be reckoned with i am always going to be a fan of her and i'm going to keep reacting to her angelina jordan please go show her some support go run her numbers up go stream her music and all that good stuff coming in at number two of my top five, my favorite, my personal five artists that I've reacted to, AK. And if you've been on this channel for a while, you know that we've, we, we, we've been a fan of AK. AK has been that dude that we keep reacting to whenever he drops how few and far between it is. Um, I honestly believe AK is a talent that is, that is rarely seen. Um, he produces his own things. I'm pretty sure he mixes and masters his own stuff. He writes, he raps, he sings. He does it, literally does it all. In a world where that's becoming more normal, you've seen him from the age of 16, five years ago, doing that all on his own. And not only that, his pen game has, in, has improved beyond belief. He always has something positive to say. He's always, you know, uh, trying to pe preach a message and I appreciate that on top of that he definitely has a song where he could just go stupid dummy and just and just go ignorant and just and just get in there and have fun and I appreciate that as well I appreciate his scope I appreciate his diversity I appreciate his talent I appreciate all of that and um, that's why he will always be one of my favorite artists not just to react to but in general Coming in at number three, we got Evanescence slash Amy Lee. I'm not gonna lie, Amy, Amy, Amy caught me by surprise because I think Evanescence was the first time I actually decided that I wanted to 
dive into music as deeply as possible. Um, I wanted to venture out into other genres, having grown up on pop music and R&B and hip hop and soul. I felt like I wanted to venture more into the rock, into the country, into the in, in, into you know the international music, all of that. I wanted to try that, and so I am glad that I ran into Evanescence because the writing ability something that I never really took a second to think about or understand from the perspective of a rock artist. Um, just not only that, as a female, she is doing it. With the song Use My Voice, um, she, she, she made a statement, a very bold statement, and I will continue to support her. I will continue to support the band because not only are they incredibly talented, not only are they trying their best to reach an audience and make them know that what they are going through is okay, but beyond that, I I I I just really love everything that she puts at that she puts out. Um, I think one of my favorite songs by her is Use Your Voice and that, that that will never change just because of how powerful the message is and how it comes across. It's very uplifting, it's very powerful, it's very it's very energetic, it's very it's very vibrant. It it gi it gives you the feeling that you actually have someone backing you up and and I enjoy that. So Evanescence coming in at number three. Now, this next one, coming in at number four, I guarantee you this is one that you guys would not be expecting, and that, my friends, is Divide Music. Divide Music, nerdcore artists, um, if you've been digging around my channel, I'm pretty sure you can see that nerdcore is a pretty big thing to me. Um, that being said, I even... Even me being an anime nerd, I want music that is going to be more than service level. And I honestly believe that his writing ability is one of the best in the nerdcore genre, um, without a doubt. If you listen to his music, if you listen to his lyrics, and you take away the video that's in the background, that could easily be hit after hit after hit. Just the music itself. Easy. And that's what I appreciate about him. Not only that, but the dude is talented. All of the guitar in his music he plays himself. All of the drums in his music he does himself electronically on his computer, which is amazing still. If you listen to some of the drum fills, if you listen to some of the roles that go on in his music, you could see how amazing that is. And because of that, I just literally always enjoyed reacting to his music since I started. And he's become one of my favorite artists to react to. Um, Divide music. All right, number five, number five, five yo, you feel me? Um, I don't know if anybody will be surprised by this if they actually know me, but if you don't, then um, this is gonna be a big surprise, Shofu. This is going to be a big switch up from, you know, the music that's been mentioned before. And that's just because I wouldn't necessarily say it falls into the nerdcore genre, but it doesn't necessarily fall into the mainstream genre as either. Um, he is an internet personality. It's one that I have been following and watching for years of my life since middle school, to be honest. Um, he's always done these bi-yearly, or not bi-yearly, Every other year, um, ciphers, the Pokemon ciphers, which have always been huge in the community, they've always done well. And in my opinion, they've showcased not only his skill, but the skill of those he surrounds himself with quite well. And on top of that, he's released projects, he's released um, singles, he's, he features on other people's songs. And to be honest, he is one of the more consistent rappers, one of the more consistent YouTube rappers, I would say. Um, I find it rare few and far between that he delivers a verse i did not enjoy in some way or another and so because of that he he's just gonna make it into my top five and um yeah so yeah that was my top five artists that i've reacted to i reacted to more than five artists though so let's let's not get it twisted there but 
this is where I stand right now and how I feel. Um, who knows what might change um, going forward and you know into the future with new music coming out and me finding new artists and you guys introducing me to new artists. Um, so I, I, I am ready to hear something new and of course to find new favorites. Um, this, this this video was pretty unscripted. Um, besides the fact that I know that I knew who I was going to talk about, there really wasn't much of a script that I had written down. So I apologize if it feels like I'm stuttering quite a bit. Um, other than that, I would love to know what y'all thought. So please drop down to the comments. Let's have a conversation. Let's talk about this. Let, 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 let's just, like I said, let's just talk about it, all right? Um, please let me know how y'all feel, what y'all think. Let me know who are some of you guys' favorites. And maybe I haven't reacted to them, and maybe I can get to react into them, okay? It's that simple, all right? Let's do it. And um, y'all know the drill. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to join the squad, hit that sub button. And of course, hit that notification bell as well. Stay up to date with your boy. We will be back. All right, I want to do start doing more sit down content like this that isn't a reaction. Um, so yeah, can't wait. It's gonna be a good year. Let's do it. I'm out. Peace, y'all.